The United States is building an international coalition to pressure North Korea to give up its nuclear program. Since 2006, North Korea has conducted five nuclear tests, increasing concerns that the country is transforming into a nuclear power. North Korea has vowed to respond to any aggression by Washington, even as the U.S. aircraft carrier a group approaches the Korean Peninsula. Who will blink first? That's the big question. That's the big question everyone <laughs> is asking right now because the confrontations are there, the tension is growing and mounting. Now, joining us now from Sweden is a global affairs analyst, Lawal Ayola. Lawal, good morning. It's good to have you join us right now. I know you've been following developments uh, in, in the Korean Peninsula, but let me ask, are we seeing the possibility of third world war? Not really. Uh, it's just a game that we just have to understand. That this is all about uh, the United States. It's nothing else. Our control of power in that region. And right now, most of this country have realized their potentials and are trying to hold firm to their own belief that no matter what we're going to keep control of our own territory. And right from the get-go, not just now, you know, it has been, it is generally known, it is generally known that everything that is happening now is about geopolitical power, apart from... Okay, are, are you saying uh, rhetorics, the uh, words coming from the North Korea, like the North Korea has the capabilities to cut the white windpipe of the U.S. imperialists, and the U.S. saying, if no one will support me, I will go ahead and deal with North Korea. North Korea. Are those just words, uh, no action to them? Is that what you're saying? Basically, China won't allow this to happen. Russia is on the other side. You get what I'm saying? Try to prevent U.S. coming to that territory to control that region. You know. All right. You, you, let's look at the coalition right now. I hope the line is working correctly. But let's look at the coalition. Uh, Japan is saying okay with whatever uh, U.S. is uh, in, in uh, has in plan. Of course, South Korea is also in support of that. But like rightly mentioned. Where would Russia stand? Don't forget that Russia has some stake in uh, North Korea. Would you say, by some stroke of luck, uh, Russia will side with the U.S.? Hello? C can you hear us, uh, Lawal? Yeah, yeah I, can, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, but my, my colleague is asking, uh, in all of this mix right now, you're talking about uh, other superpowers being involved. Uh, Russia is there, China is there, and these are seen to be slight allies of, the, uh, uh, of, of North Korea. But on the other hand, we have South Korea, we have Japan, and uh, also even Australia has come into the mix right now. In all of this mix, uh, what, what do you see? How complicated... Is, is this issue right now? Well, geopolitically, it's quite, uh, it's quite easy to analyze. And it's just to tell us that the entire region are trying to flex the muzzle. And everything has to be done diplomatically. All right, we seem to have uh, connectivity uh, challenges there with uh, Ayola Lawal. Okay, I, I, I understand we have Lawal back now. Yeah, go ahead, we can hear you. Hello? Yeah, can you, can, can you hear us now? Yeah, I could hear you. But yeah, you were making a point. You were making a point. Go ahead. Hello? Okay. We can hear you. Please go on. Uh, basically, yes. The world has to really manage this, especially the United States. Because there's no way China will allow such a strike that U.S. is in. And what is happening now is an understanding that if U.S. is allowed to attack, 
they will have access, more access to that region. And we all know that Russia and China, they are, the, they are trying to reflect their muscle now and to take their rightly position back in the global world. And this is what... And I would like to understand that if... All okay, right. I think we have to uh, yeah. end it there right now because uh, the network is not letting us go ahead clearly on that. Thank you, one uh, thing Ayola is, One thing he's made clear is that this is all some uh, uh, muscle, muscle flexing yeah. about, about it, the region. But, but, he has, but he has come to say that the world has to really try to settle this diplomatically. Because in all of that, nobody wants to see any war anywhere, not to talk of nuclear wars and all of that. But so, who, because the North Korea wants to sit on the table with the U.S. asking mm. U.S. to accept its nuclear program. Will Trump accept that? Really? Well, that's the diplomacy. There has to be some kind of engagement and all of that. Uh, all right. O okay, I think let's, let's try to see if we can uh, link. Uh, Ayola Lawala, are you still there? Can you still hear us? Hello, I can oh. hear you loud and clear, please. Okay. All right, let, let me ask you this you now. Th there, there are moves by the United States to tighten uh, sanctions against North Korea. What impact will this have in this trend and development? Hello? Okay. I guess we have to end it there right now. Thank you, uh, Ayola Lawal. Thank you for uh, talking to us.